Hello, you are welcome to Ekidel Company. My name is Justice Mwaka. I am your instructor. Today, we will be learning how to draw a building plan perfectly using AutoCAD software. So, looking at this place right here, you will see that the version of AutoCAD I'm using is Autotest AutoCAD 2022. So today, we will be learning how to draw a building plan using AutoCAD 2022. And looking at this building plan right here, you can see that this is a story duplex, having a ground floor and a first floor. So before we start, you can see that this building does not have any dimension. So first, we will have to dimension this building so that we can know our measurements. The unit of measurement we are using is millimeter. So let us start by dimensioning. So to dimension right here in AutoCAD 2022, you have to set your dimension style. And to do that, you will use a shortcut which is called D and you press enter key. Then you will now have to um, click on new. Now in this place now you have to define the name of your dimension style. Let me just say, let me say dim, dim 100 and I will click on continue. Now in this place right now, the first thing you do is to set your line, your properties on your line tab. To set properties on line tab, you click on this line tab here and then you click on the color you want to use. So we go, you, you can choose the color you want to use here and if the preferred color you want is not here, you can now click on select color. So you can choose any kind of um, light color for your dimension. For me, I want to use this darker um, gray here and I'll click on OK. So automatically, my text um, color becomes this. If I choose any other color, let me just choose red to so I can see what happens here. You can see what happens here. So any color you choose here will define your dimension line color. So I go back and choose this. The next thing you do right now is to um, select your line type. Always keep your line type as layer and always keep your line width as by layer. The next thing you will impute here right now is to impute your baseline spacing. So first of all, before to know this, you will know that you have to know the sizes of A1 and A2 and the text font size for A1 paper, A2 paper, and A3 paper. In my next video, I will show you the text font size for different paper sizes. But for this case, I want to use A3 paper size and the text font for A3 paper size, which is the body text size is 1.5 ranging to 1.75. So I want to use 1.75. Then again, you have to choose your extension um, lines, color. So if you click here right now, if you change to this, you can see the extension line here. So I want to use that same color to maintain the same color with the dimension line. And then you also keep the line type extension line one as by layer. You have to keep this by layer and keep this by layer two. The next thing we we'll do right now is to impute our extend beyond DIN lines value. The same values that you impute here, 1.75, is the same value you will impute here to maintain to maintain uniformity. The same value you also impute offset from DIN line here. So with this, you are done with any all the parameters and setting for the lines. The next thing we'll do is to move to symbols and arrows. Now in symbols and arrows right now, you will have to choose your arrowhead. You have the first, the second and the leader. So if you click on this drop down arrow, 
you will see different types of arrowhead. You can see architectural thickness. You can see what how it changes right now. If I click on arrowhead right now, this will change to arrowhead just as it is. You can also choose um, dots. If you click on dots here, you can see what it is. But for this case, I want to use arrow closed feed, which is the arrowhead. And also, the next thing you do is to also choose your leader. I will just keep it as the same, which is this leader right here. The next thing again to do is to impute my arrow size head. The same size, the same um, value you impute here, which is the baseline spacing, is the same value you impute here to maintain uniformity. So I will still put 1.75. Now you leave every other settings here as default and every other settings here as default. If maybe this is, if maybe this arc length symbol is in this, you can just click this. But I know it is always as default like this. The next thing we'll do is to move to our text tab. On this text tab right now, you have to choose your text style. So you can choose any kind of text style. In my next video, I will show you how to create text style. But for this, this is not really important, but you can just choose any type of text style that you want. Or to create your text style, you can also click here. When you click here right now, you can now when you click there right now, you can also choose your text style here. You can see that. So you just click on cancel. Like I said, this is not important in dimension. What is important is your text height and your text color. So text color right here, I will say you should leave it by layer. And the main thing again is to impute your text height. Your text height must always carry the value you imputed here which is your a3 uh, body text size so you impute here 1.75 as you can see it right there 1.75 then again next thing to choose right here is to choose this you leave everything here as default you choose this will be on horizontal you, you have to click it align with dimension line the next thing we'll move right now is to move to a fit tab on fit tab by clicking fit tab our oh, you have to click this will be on this place but you have to click check this always keep text between extension lines the next thing again you do right now is to in into key in your overall use your overall scale factor so if you want to use k one is to hundred or scale 1 is to 50 or 1 is to 75. Let me say I want to use scale 1 is to 100. I'll quickly put 100 here. If I want to use scale 1 is to 75, I'll impute here 75. So if I want to use 1 is to 50, I'll impute here 50. So for this case, let's use 1 is to 75. So I'll quickly put here 75. So in this case right now, my body text will be this text height will be times or multiplied by this scale I inputted here, which is 75. So my text height now will now become 7.5. Let me just calculate it here. 1.75 multiplied by the scale factor we input here, which is 75 times 75. So the text font for my dimension um, text will be 131.25 millimeter. So this, that is why you have to keep here and try to keep here as um, maintaining the paper size text um, text font sizes. And then you have to control your text height, your dimension and everything here with the scale that you impute here. And without following this procedure, this K here will not work. If you impute anything here inside this place, this height, this K factor here will not work on this for this text height. The next thing we'll move right now is to move to our primary unit. On this place, you select here as decimal, which is your unit format, and you select here as precision. 
then now you select your precision as zero sorry then you put your randomness as zero and your p and this place you click period then you leave every other thing here as default this alternative unit is always as default and tolerance always at default so leave it that way so with this right now after you have set your primary units you have you cannot click on ok and you can click on set current so with this right now you have successfully set your dimension style so if i now click to dimension right here if i now click to dimension this right now you can now see what we have so if i click to dimension this right now you can now see that how our dimension appears very neat so i can also click again to dimension the next one again i click here and then i click here then click on this so you can now see what we have so to i can delete this to start our dimension line dimensioning so to start dimensioning your um, building rightly you let me show you you click on this layer meanwhile i'm using autocad version 2022 which is the latest version and then you click on this first point and this point and you click to make a um, continuation so that you don't always click here every time so now click here and then click here and here so sorry to make this to be at dimension continuation you have to click this shortcut dim cont so with this right now you can click enter you can see that it is now in continuation so you can now start clicking your dimensions your point where you want to dimension sorry you cannot see that so this is how you um, dimension here in autocad so you can now see then the next thing again we click to dimension our overall dimension you can now see that you can also click again on din count you select continuation then you can now click on the final overall dimension sorry you delete this do again So you cannot see how neat it is. So without you setting this your dimension style, you can never achieve a neat dimension like this. So that is how to set dimension style and also how to get a very neat dimension and accurate dimensioning. So thank you and God bless you.